Hello everybody, Togal here and welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft Let's Play series. Last time we got ourselves some villagers over here in this holding area. And you guys see I've been very busy here. It took me a couple hours <laughs> taking out this whole entire mountain that was here. Um, I did say last time that I want to build like a, a... Well, I want to build the villager breeder, but I want to then encase it into like an, an Aztec or Mayan temple kind of structure. And then about a hundred blocks that way is an actual um, jungle temple that I want to kind of incorporate into this. So we're going to have a big Mayan slash Aztec. I don't know exactly what the difference is between those two. So I'm, I'm going to have to look at those um, building styles. But, you know, one of those jungle... Um, tri well, they're not really tribes. They were civilizations. But you, you know what I mean. So we're going to build something here in the area. Um, and this is the main focus here of this area is for right now is the villager breeder. And I did a lot of research on how villages work. I also prepared a, a wheat farm over here and I've been harvesting that regularly while taking this down over here. Um, I did a lot of research on the wiki, how villages work, how the villager breeding works. I, I looked at screenshots of people's villager breeders and watched that and very little videos. I did find... Um, two three good ones that uh, where they explained it very well and the rest were all just um well i don't want to say anything bad um they they were not very enjoyable a anyway so i i have a pretty good idea of what i want to build but we're gonna build our own style okay number one i don't understand why everybody builds the villager breeders up in the sky i i cannot figure out what the point is of that um just so you're safer? I don't know. So right here is going to be our holding cells for our main villagers, that ones that are going to do the breeding. And if I need sorting and whatnot, I kind of want to put that a little bit underground here because there's not really a reason to keep that above ground, right? And this one being this close to the ground, it doesn't really matter because it's just going to be safe so zombies won't be able to get there. That's my job. If I mess that up, then so be it. But anyway, so there's four of these holding cells. Um, I, um, I was thinking of doing a single one, but I want this to be a very efficient villager breeder. I want there to be able to be, you know, a couple, when, when I go to sleep in AFK on the server, so these chunks stay loaded, the spawn chunks, I, I want to come back in the morning, let's say, and there being at least a hundred new villagers. Okay. I want to have a real, um, selection and so on of these because it's awesome. Villagers are a huge part of Minecraft that a lot of people don't use. But I think we're going to have a lot of fun with them. And then also, you know, using these villagers and letting them roam free in our city here. That's one of my goals. I would, excuse me, I would like to make it. So it is a very lively place. Okay. And it's going to be hard to make sure that they don't get killed and so on. But that's just the goal. And if we, you know, if they all get killed and I can just turn this on and get 50 new ones in, in no time, that would be awesome. Anyways. So, the first thing I'm going to need to get um, is get... Um, last time I said I thought this these are brown coats, but Grok Duck Farmer told me um, that these are not considered brown coats because they're wearing a white apron. Those are both leather workers, and they cannot be used to automatic farm. So I do not have a brown coat. I checked over in our desert village. There is none. So these two guys right here, I want to use um, as my first two breeders up in these cells. And then the white coat is going to be the main villager, the one that makes this a village, okay? I am hoping that this guy here possibly automatically gets pushed or goes into a rail cart here. I mean, it's wishful thinking. I don't think it's going to work. No. So I do need to give him a way to get up there and possibly jump out. All right, buddy, can you get out there now? Maybe? Come on, move, uh, knucklehead. And I also need to be careful because this is open now, so as soon as it turns night or anything, I need to be ready to sleep. And I'm gonna give this a second, so hopefully he will walk up here. Ooh, he's up. Not with the sword, with this. Okay. So, let's get this ready. All right, we got one in there. Okay. 
So now I just have to... Where are we going? We did it! Alright, and then I'm going to make a furnace cart. That is something I found out by coincidence, which is really cool. Now, stop it! Come back. Really, you're going to stand back here, huh? Okay, check it out. When you just right-click a furnace cart, it goes. You don't need to give this fuel, so it's a lot more controllable. You guys see that? I had no idea that that's how they function. And this should be enough to get this guy to go up there. Okay. And now that he's up there, he's probably already inside, right? Did I get the cart back? Yes. Yes! He's in there. Very cool. Alright, let's go ahead and... Did I... Let's put... Some more torches here. I'm worried that maybe something will spawn on these tracks here. Okay, good. So now I should be able... This is gonna be, like, right at the corner. Da! Did it! Very cool. So we got one of those guys in there, and now we're gonna do the same a second time. So I got the second villager up on the top. It was a little bit of a hustle because... Hassle, not hustle. Because he actually walked into the nether. I have no idea how he did it, so I needed to get him back out. And this one came out second after the first one, and so I just parked it here for now. But now it is time that I want to get this guy underground. Now, I wanted to point something out to everybody that uh, is interested in this. A lot of this information that I've been getting, I got from a YouTuber called Unary Bit. Now, a lot of, you know, vivid uh, Minecraft Let's Play watchers and so on know about Unary Bit. This guy, by the way, didn't take any damage because it went through glass. Um, and this guy I won't need anymore. Um, and he made a very, it's a quite an old video um, for 1.8 where uh, he explained uh, how he set his up. And there was a couple of things that I took away from that that I found very interesting. That information I could not get somewhere else. For example, why am I putting this guy down here so far underground? Oh boy. Here's a zombie, so there's got to be a cave here somewhere. I look for it a little bit, but that is scary. Um, and that is, um, you just have to, I'm going to link to that video downstairs, uh, downstairs in the down below in the, in the description, because I think he definitely deserves all the credit for that information. I did not know how this works, and I'm glad I watched this video here today. Aha, there he is. Look at this guy. What's up, buddy? Um, and that is... Well, you guys know that you need to be away, I think, at least 64 blocks from another village and all that. I mean, that is common knowledge, right? At least I hope so, guys. Um, and, but the other thing was that the guy that we're setting up down here, I also knew how to set this up, but I did not know that this needs to be um, at least nine blocks above these guys or seven blocks underneath it. I don't know why those numbers are the way they are. It's just the way they are. Um, so I'm glad. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we have two, three more blocks. One, two, and three. And then these villagers. So I actually have ten blocks. So I'm I'm well below the uh, well above the minimum required, right? And that is the top of these doors. Why can I not place these? Oh, because I had my head in the torch. Okay. And then these right there. And now, this right here counts as a village, okay? When you stick them underground like this, you need to make sure that you have sky access to the front of these doors. Okay? And I am actually not sure if I am allowed to have these here. So we're gonna put them in the wall here right now. Uh, right there, just to make sure nothing can spawn here. And I am also going to 100% for right now. Encase this guy in glass. And not just to its sides in the front, but also in the diagonals. Because there is, I don't know if that has been fixed or not, but there's been a bug for the longest time that uh, zombies uh, can hit th um, in the corners like that. They can damage whatever's behind it. 
So this is gonna be the main guy. This guy now supposedly made the village, okay? And I am going to make sure... Um, I don't need to come down here for right now anymore, so I'm gonna make sure to close this all off. Probably gonna put up a permanent... Oh, by the way, guys, this is something i also been using more, and I wanted to point it out. I've been using it, um, and then I said next time I think of it, I'm gonna point it out. You guys see how I just used my last smooth stone, right? And when I middle mouse click, it automatically gives me more of that material that I middle mouse clicked. Um, from my inventory and puts it on the hotbar. Now that is something a lot of you guys are probably familiar with when you do things in creative, right? That's always been that way. Um, and then up here, I'm going to put three glass blocks so nothing can fall down. So I'm, I'm kind of sure that this is safe now and I'm going to sleep. And I'm going to um, look into my NBT data now. So I'm going to log out and just, I'm going to give it another minute. Uh, villages are not formed instantly as far as I know, okay? And then I'm going to check the, the, the world file if this village actually shows up. Okay, so here is the screenshot of what it showed me in the villages.dat file in my world safe. And you guys see the coordinates right here. This is this area. And as well that it shows that there is one um, population. Now, I don't know why it only shows you one, which is obviously the guy down there. And it doesn't count these here, but... I think that is normal. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that we have a valid a village here. So once we feed these guys, they should start breeding. And now you guys see here, I just put up a little bit of a glass cage, nothing fancy. And up here, I know that this is where I want to get into when I um, have villagers that are ready to be put back into this chamber right here, right? Because I said that the first ones that I'm gonna breed, I want to feed back into here until I at least have eight or 10 or something like that into this one cell right there. Um, because the more I have, the faster this is gonna happen, right? But I want to take it one step further. So instead of just breeding them and sending them straight back up there, I want them to go to into a little bit of a holding spot where I am going to pull them out with a mine cart. And then depending on if I want to keep it downstairs or send it back in the cell, um, I'm going to route the minecart differently. So that's something that I want to do. Because if I get any brown coats, I want to keep them right away. Um, just so we can start setting up an auto um, harvest over here, right? With the sweet. Because the sooner I get that started, the better. So the babies are going to fall down right here. And they're going to come down here and then go into this last spot right there. Okay? Um, but instead of just, actually, let me close this off for just a second right there. So I don't have the water to fight against. I forgot that they need to have another block down here. Um, oh, that's cool that I already had the stone brick down here. I, I mismeasured, so, but now I need it. And the way this is going to work is that I'm going to put a sign over here. So they cannot, the water doesn't fall down there, right? So check it out. Give me that and get out. So now there's actually an air block underneath this here because the water gets stopped here. It cannot fall down, right? So let me just show you. When I'm down here, my head is in air. And baby villagers are only one block or a little bit less than one block tall. So they're going to sit down here and wait to grow up. And then when they're old enough, their head will go into the water and they will start um, swimming upwards just like any other uh, mop elevator, right? So I'm going to have to encase it like this. So right here is needs to be a sign. So let's go ahead and start alternating this All right there. And then here again needs to be a water. Okay, so when they first come through here, um, the babies will just fall down right into that air block. And once they're grown, their head gets in that bottom water block. They swim up and then the next water block and they swim up. And I think the first holding cell, we're going to go up one higher for the time being. And let me close. Well, this can stay like that. So I'm going to need to have one more with a sign right here. Yes. And then. I like this and then going out 
that way to here okay so let me put a block right here just so the water doesn't flow down and we'll put this water right there yes so they come up here and then they get pushed forward right okay and then of course we just need to close this off like that now i if if i did not want to sort them i would just keep going up and feed them then around the corner here up or somewhere here directly back into this but like i said i want to um set up something else with the minecart here so that is one too tall and just to give them enough room i think i'm gonna just make the three tall on the inside so these guys don't um have a chance of uh, whatever getting stuck on the glass or something like that okay so that is fine so let's come down here and now like i said we're gonna have to put them into a holding cell right here so let's go forward one more to here and then down i'm gonna fill this in on the top in a minute just to get this flow going so right here and then they fall down into this area like that so they flop down here and they sit right there and now because um i always want to make sure when i dig in the area or something later on that i don't break something that's important i'm always gonna make sure that the important parts have stone brick underneath it just so you know if i'm underneath it i know hey oh you're getting close to where there's something important and let's go ahead and sleep real quick just so there is no trouble um coming up so now the thing is that uh, with the rail cart there is a little trick that i i haven't um set up before but when you come from underneath let me see here if i can remember how this works so they will wait right here excuse me um I just don't want to pick it up by mistake again. Get this out of here. I don't need your rotten flesh. Okay, so when you come from underneath... Let's make some room here real quick. And I'm trying to remember how this works. So how this is going to work is... I have a powered rail right here with a full block behind it. Okay, if it's glass, it will not come back. And then we'll just come out like this to somewhere. Alright, let's just do this for testing purposes. Um, right there. Put a full block... And we'll power this rail. Actually, unpower it, place it. And now when I power this, it's going to go in there. And because the villagers are standing right here, this cart is going to pick them up, load it, and come back out through the glass. And they cannot take damage because it's glass, right? So this is how I see this working right here. Um, I can leave this open. That's fine. Let's put another torch right here just in case. Okay, so again... The babies will come down here, fall down here. Then when they're grown up, they swim up there and get pushed over. Once I have this set up, I guess we can do this now. So I want to have... They're going to fall down right here. Middle mouse click. I got to make more use of that. It makes life so much easier. And then down here, we'll have the sign so the water stops flowing. Just like that. And then they fall down there and, they, and they're ready, right? They're ready for pickup. Okay, so now just let's close this off so nothing can spawn or get into this water stream here. Okay. All right. I uh, cannot get the stone brick. That's unacceptable. Give it to me. <laughs> All right, so good. So this is done. Now I just need to set something up right here. Okay? So... Pick it up, and then the cart should wait here, okay? And then we're going to split it up. If I go this way, it's going to unload. And if I go this way here, somewhere over here or somewhere over here, okay? And then I can put a lever right here. Now check out this track right here. I can switch that. Which direction do I want to go, right? So once I figure out, all right, I want to keep this guy, I'll send it over there. I don't want to keep him. I just got to give it a push, which is fine. Boom, I send it off over there, right? Just like that. 
Okay, I think that works. And now the other thing, of course, we need to do is get this to go back up in here. Um, yes, so um, well, let's set up a little bit of a holding track over here first, just so this is ready and they cannot get hurt. Okay, and I'm going to move them all the way to over here. And in order to do that, I'm going to use this right here. So I'm going to need to do, do something like this right there. And then the track will come to here. Yes. And we're going to put oops, glass around this so I can still see them and monsters cannot get in. And put it like that. Oh, but because zombies can hit through the corners, we got to make sure we can. Uh, um, we need to make sure to close this off completely. Right. And then when this guy is in there, I simply break the tracks and, and I have them stored right there. That's that's what I'm trying to say. So this guy is ready for when I get the first brown coat. Right. And then I make another one next to it and so on and so on. But when it comes over here, I need to run this back up. And for that, I'm going to use stone bricks. And let's see. Um, I want to come from over here. And I need to unload it first. So there is something I want to test. Okay. And that is which direction to activate a trail disembark. If I can actually govern that. That's my question. So let's go ahead and put this activated track right here. And I hope that I can test with myself. Okay, so I'm going to put this here and I'm going to give this a redstone signal. And I let's say I want it to. That's not a that's not a good test. That's not a good test. I need to come from this way because I'm going to send them up going this direction. So I need to set this here and I want them to be unloaded to the right. Let's see if we can get this done. So if I put actually I should use glass. Because I am going to use glass up there as well. So let's just say this is my place. This is where I want them to be unloaded. Right? So the track comes from here. And I want them to come over here and get unloaded right there. Into a one hole. Yes. Because this one here is going to have water that then pushes them in around the corner. So just like this. And is it becoming night? Yes. It's fine. We're safe. Um, where's my rail cart? So if I go in here and I push myself forward. This is the activator one, right? No, nope, I used the wrong track. This track. I get put out over here. Okay. So what about putting glass right here like this? I know there is aha did it. Okay. So this is the only way it can unload. So that does work. So let me go ahead and sleep and run this up there. So the rail card comes up here or right to up here. Then here is that activator track that I need to close off in a second. And we are going to make sure to have it all the way to here. So that means these two blocks are filled and these two blocks. So there's no way for it to come and do its thing. And then I'm going to need to get away up here with a ladder so I can get this minecart back every time. Right. And then they're going to get spit out right here. We, we're going to place the water and you guys see I put a sign up over there already. And the water will flow and they should be getting pushed all the way around and then fall back down there. I don't want to fall down there because that's going to be a pain for me to get out. Um, just like that, I don't think I need to close this off above it. Because there's just no way that mobs can get in here. Baby zombies actually could. Um, if I think about it. So that's something I definitely have to consider. Because they can walk up here. And even if I close this off now, like this, a baby zombie can come in here. So how do I, how do I prevent that? Let's test something. Let's put another. Um, 
right there so they cannot jump in here right and let me see if i can go up here still if it will still go through this glass with me yes Ooh, it put me out right here and not in the water stream so why it worked down there it dismounted me here what <laughs> Okay, what about if I... Okay. Let's try this one more time. What if I close this off all with glass? Like this. And put... Layers here. And even... Here. I have no idea I'm gonna get this minecart back every time, but... Let's try this one more time. I just want to be put into the water stream. So now my head is stuck in glass. Ha. Huh. Okay, so maybe what I have to do here is there's an air block here. I'm gonna hope that they get dismounted over there. I have no idea why it worked down there, but not here. That doesn't make any sense to me. I'm not sure. But I'm gonna have to get away up here anyway, so I can break this and then I can just jump down and push them in. Guys, in the beginning, like I said, up once I have enough brown coats collected up, I am going to just send them up into these water streams. I'm not gonna wait, right? So... For, I think for now this is going to be fine. Let's just close this off and... Um, hello? There we go. So no baby zombie can get in and that's it. Okay, guys. So now that we have this done, we have it ready. So I think for, by default, I'm going to just have it pointing this way to not send something up there in case you know when when i pick up the villager and it comes back in the villager pushes forward or something it rather just goes into this place right there right um and i think i could even no if i put stone there then they're gonna take suffocation damage for a second and this right here is also a problem i just noticed and because baby zombies can get into here as well so I think until I'm I'm certain that I can pick one up, I'm just going to have this closed. You know, I got to make sure that baby zombies, they will find a way. I have lost many villagers in the past to these knuckleheads um, that the baby zombies are really mean. So I want to make sure that I cannot um, have any of them come into my thing here. So again, like I said, I actually don't need to have a, a ladder here. I can always just end the pearl up to here. Oh, wow. Check it out. I'm even getting into the glass. And then I can push them in and whatnot. So I'm just going to use ender pearls to get up here for now. I wanted to make sure that I have at least six stacks. So I went back and got some of the other wheat from my chests. Because I was just short a couple. Ow. And um, in case you're wondering, I started using the one second flight time rockets. Instead of the three second. Um, because while well, this short distance here, I always flew way too long. So anyway, so we got six stacks of bread. Now the trickiest part is going to be getting that to the villagers there so it doesn't fall into the water. Which is no problem because if it falls in the water, I can simply come down there and pick it up um, in the water stream. But if I aim it right, I should be able to not have that problem. So how am I going to get up there? Let's go. Oh my god. What a horrible inner pearl throw. <laughs> All right, just get up there somewhere. Um, okay. Uh, da -da. Where am I going to get in? Okay, there is not really anything good here. So, I can't throw it from here. Okay, let's just pillar up to here. And like I said, the worst part is getting that to kind of fall right there. In the middle, so it does not fall down. Let's see if we can... Let's close this off again. Wow, oh, look at that throw. Perfect. Don't move. There's two. Three. Four. Five. 
Oh, what? And five. Did did it flow down? And you guys saw the hearts just now, right? So they're definitely doing their business here because they're now they got full bellies. So they're gonna do their thing here. And then it's gonna take a while. With only two villagers, it can take quite some time to actually produce our first baby. But I do want to see. I can't tell from here. Um No, okay. So it just looked like it flew away, but it's possible that one villager threw it to the other one. I think that's what happened. So let's close this off again. And then, like I said, eventually, when they have their first offspring, it will fall down here, come down here and wait, and then grow up. And it's going to be really hard to catch this on camera. I'm going to wait here for a couple minutes, um, and then hopefully see it and be able to talk. But otherwise, I'm just going to show you guys when uh, the villager grows up and goes up there. I don't know how long this actually all takes. Like, how long a baby villager takes to grow up into an adult. I'm gonna say at least 20 minutes. Real life. So at least a whole day, night cycle. Um, but it could be longer as well. So I'm not sure about that. But anyway, so the basics are set up. It's a it's a huge mess right now. But I'm, I'm having fun. I'm really enjoying doing this and figuring it out. Um, because I always wanted to have a... What? How is it not night yet? I always wanted to have a big villager breeder. There he goes! We got our first baby! And you guys see, it's underwater down there in the air bubble. Right where it's supposed to be so that worked. And it looked like it was another brown coat with a white apron. It's trying to get back out. What? Huh? Was that a lag spike or something? Buddy. Get down in the hole. And stay down there. <laughs> Stop coming back up. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We got our first grown-up villager. Oops. I didn't have the windows focused. Um, and it's really cool because I checked on the wiki. It takes exactly 20 minutes for a villager baby to grow up to an adult. And check it out. There's two more. There is a librarian. And also, I can't really tell, but I think that is an actual brown coat now. So that would be really cool. So in the time that um, the first one grew up, two more babies came in here. And I'm pretty sure that I'm going to have to start giving these guys here more food. And I've been on top of harvesting as much as I can, but it is a very slow process. And the other thing is, I ran the rail cart track back down over here. So I'm hoping that the rail cart will go up here. The activator will kick in and then it will just come back down. So I don't need to go in here and I am we're gonna test this right now if it works And I'm kind of hoping that the villager simply gets spit out on that side. Okay um, I actually don't need this block here. I don't know why I left this Let's get rid of this. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and try this out. I'm very excited um, I did not expect this to be as fast that we already have three babies. So that is very cool. And let's put this guy here. And... Okay, so I can already check now. Let's see here real quick. You... Can I click on you, mister? Alright, so you're another leather worker. This is actually a pretty good trade. Um, but you are going straight up in there to make us more babies. So we're going to flip this one around. I'm going to turn this one on. And let's set this one in here and see. There it goes. Now let's see if it's gonna get dismounted. Uh, spit out over there. It worked! He's already in the water stream. I'm so excited. <laughs> and boop! What? What? Wow, that was unexpected. Wait, how the heck did you make those guys fall out? 
I have no idea how that happened. Dang it. <laughs> I'm whispering. Okay, so this guy fell in. Let's see if this happens again. Okay, so now I got two guys standing there. That is so weird. Why why did they get pushed out? I that's kind of bumming me out right now because it's not supposed to happen. You get up there as well. All right, this is cool that this works. All right, so now they're all standing there. And I think it's because of their head. I think that's what's causing the problem. That their head is... Okay, let's let's see if I can get up there and fix that. And I think that if I remove this block here... All right, two of them fell down. You guys saw that. And then I'm hoping this one will... I cannot take away the one back here because that's where the water runs on wow that block fell all the way over here Ooh. uh what is happening why is there so many zombie villagers there's two of them i don't know if that is something normal when you have a village and i totally forgot to sleep and stuff so but I, um, I did something, I, I placed a few hoppers just a second ago here, that I'm, there, I'm hoping that the bread that flows over there just gets sucked up. Yes, it does. Okay, and you guys see, I have, look at how much bread I have. This is all the bread that these guys had, and they're just tossing it. And I also noticed that babies can pick up the bread. But of course, I don't want that to happen, because... If it's a brown coat or something, then I want to make sure um, they they don't have anything in the inventory. This guy still has not fallen down yet into where I want him to be. So that is a little bit of a bummer. But now here is a thinking. And I, again, I don't know why. Once they're set up in here, they don't fall down or get pushed out anymore, right? But what I'm trying to do here right now is... To get, and I cannot get any wall pieces in here. I got one here. So I'm hoping they don't get pushed out of here again. But I cannot place one here. The only way I can do that is via a piston. So I'm gonna have to get me a few pistons here real quick. Sticky pistons. And see if I can push in these wall blocks. I don't want full blocks. Um, let's just get these and my levers. Um, I don't want full blocks because then they're just gonna stand on top of that fence post. There's no way they're gonna be able to fall down. Get over here. So I want to have a fence, uh, a wall post right there. Let's get rid of this guy. Place that here. What? I can... Oh. Wrong one. It's fine. If anything that drops down doesn't matter because I get it all back in this hopper now. So that is pretty cool. So I need this to be here. Yes, and put the fence post right there. And... Ta -da. All right, so the fence post is in there now. I don't think that they're going to be able to get... Um, pushed out this way at least that's wishful thinking right guys oh <laughs> um again a lot of this is 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 only hard to set up in the beginning once everything is set up and i have everything full up here we never need to mess with these again so this became stressful real quick guys <laughs> because you see there's a baby right there um reason being is that these guys here because they had I think there's three now. There's still a baby down there. No, I think they will grow up as well. Um, because two of them had bread. Um, they, they're breeding down here. And then this baby just started running around here. So I caught it with another uh, 
rail cart right there. And this right here, I didn't have to do too much. It wasn't too bad. I moved it up one higher and then check it out. The water comes over here. And then I actually make it drop down one block and stop it with a sign because I don't want that villager to crash down there too hard. The third one here eventually went into there and they're still breeding. Is there any more bread? No. Let me turn this on and give this guy a push. And we're gonna watch this now if it finally works. Okay, so this guy is going in there. Give me that back. And I just want to see that they don't explode out anymore. Why you no go? He's gonna go. He's gonna try to go up, but eventually he's gonna fall down. I just want to make sure that he goes down slowly and soft, right? Maybe I should have put a vine instead. Really, are you not going to go down? <laughs> oh God. I'm gonna whoop you. Get down there. Come on. Is that just in their nature and there's nothing I can do? All right. I guess that water stream here doesn't work. I need to move the sign up one, but I need to stop the water flow for that first. All right, so he's down there. He still doesn't get pushed into the position that I want him to. I'm not sure. But I'm guessing on the next one, this will work. Let's get rid of this. Ooh, I got it. Nice. So we're going to put the sign up here. And then we'll try on the last one here. Sorry about all that, guys, but there's just nothing I can do, and I hope you guys are enjoying uh, seeing all the difficulties that you need to deal with when it comes to villagers. All right, so it's kind of funny that I, I moved all this up one and then forgot to take out these glass blocks on the sides, right? And that caused that villager to stand up here because his head could not move over. So now we can test this one more time with this last villager that we have waiting down here. And I believe everything will be fine now. Go ahead and move. Oh, I have another one waiting already. Wow. Okay, we're moving. But this is number eight. Here we go. Let's see if this finally works now. So he gets spit out right there. And he should fall down and then get pushed to one of the sides. Yeah, it takes them a minute. But it's going to be... Boom. Boom right in the corner just the way i wanted it yes perfect so now we have let's see entities seven eight seven eight what so how many do i have in there um here it shows six eight nine thirteen why does this keep changing what is there uh maybe I need to be right above them and look down to not have anything in the background. Just like that. So it shows me 9 now. 8. 9. So what? why, why is this fluctuating? This is 9. 10 right there. Okay, it should be 9 when I'm looking this way. 8 in the cell and the 1 in the ground, guys. Don't forget about that villager down there, right? But it shows me 10 when I'm looking here. So there could be hostiles as well. So I'm going to have to check. But I think that we have 8 in here now. I'm pretty sure. So anyways, um, I'm probably now going to... I really wish there was a way for me to properly see how many are in here. <laughs> there's just no way. Because I know there's two right there. You see that the heads shift there, you saw that? I see two right here in this corner. There's one, two, three. So two, four, six, seven. So I think there's seven. So that means let's bring up this last one down here. Yeah. Why? Why are you doing this to me? go so now we're gonna have eight so that means after this episode now ends i'm going to move this water stream to go over to the next cell 
and then put eight into that one and so by next time we're gonna have four cells each with eight of them i think that should be enough i i read some crazy number that you can get if you have the bread supply um you can get up to 96 villagers an hour <laughs> i can you imagine the, the craziness when you have this many villagers happening? But this is why we're doing it, right? Uh, anyways, guys, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I gave them bread a minute ago here. Um, the last bit I had. Oh, I just saw another baby. And another baby. Very cool. Look at them. It's happening. Now it's just I got to harvest everything again. Make more bread. Toss it in there. Is there any more in the hopper? Oh, wow. They're just tossing it from left to right. And... By next episode, there is a way that we can stop the bread from falling down, by the way. But I need to be able to close off these chambers, okay? There's going to be half slabs in their heads. So their head looks through the half slab. Because then when they spit out the bread, it will fall on top of the half slab and it cannot fall down. But until then, I'm just going to throw the bread in here like that over and over. It's sitting there nicely in the middle. They're picking it up and then they throw it at each other. Yeah, nothing came down. Anyways, guys, rambling now. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I'm having a lot of fun with this project, even though it's frustrating. Um, but don't think that when I sound frustrated sometimes that I'm not having fun. I am loving this. I've been waiting for a long time to play with villagers the way we are now. And this is going to be really cool when it's done eventually. Um, I, I don't know if we're going to get it done next episode. But next episode, we're definitely going to work on auto-feeding these guys um, and so on. But like I said, I'm rambling. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, take care, stay safe, and bye-bye.